Hey guys, it is Gareth Olsen, OSP Pew, Pew, Pew and I'm bringing you the Fire Emblem Sacred Stones playthrough again. It's starting up once more. Um, sorry, I clicked away there. Um, I'm not, might not have the time to finish this, but I've got some spare time. I'm going to sit down and record this. I just feel like doing so. Uh, I've been wanting to play this game for a little bit, and I thought, why not record it again? Um, as you can see, uh, the load states are different because I didn't have to restart every time. Um, that's because I had to replay through this, so I don't know where the ROM went to, so... Uh, my growths are a bit different to what they once were. My Erica, for example, has level 3 times and Franz has yet to do so. Erica has got strength every time, so she's looking really strong, and uh, hopefully she can be a prominent figure in this season. And um, without further ado, let's just hop straight back in. Hopefully, yeah, we're on the world map. This was a feature that was added to this game. Um, it wasn't done previously, so uh, that's why I like this game more than others. Um, so here we have the world map. Once again, this is where we started, Border Mulan, which is between Rene and Freelia. And I can't remember exactly what we were doing heading down towards the eyes, but we're going somewhere. We got some reinforcements from Freelia, we got um, Tana the Pegasus Knight, and oh, I can't think of a name. Uh, the priest guy. Anyway, I think they figure in this next cutscene, so we'll see. King Hayden apologizes for being unable to spare soldiers. However, he does provide Erica with a a small but trusted party of vassals, those are the two that I was talking about. I can't remember what her name, I think it's Vanessa for her and he's like Mulder. Erica is grateful for the king's aid. Gave us 5,000 gold as well. Chasing rumours of her brother, she sets out for greater. That's what we're doing. I should have just played this. First, the group's first stop is in the remote village of Hyde, which was, until very recently, a part of Renee. Here, Erica sees the devastation with Renee with her own eyes. So, in, in case you missed the previous episodes, Renee was invaded by Grado, who was an ally, and uh, they were caught off guard and was completely overthrown. With the princess of Renee, we escaped, and uh, now we're heading back to find our brother. Seth, Seth has mapped a route for us. We'll travel south of Renee and pass through Seraphu in Grado territory. Hmm. That would seem a sensible plan. Also, the voices, I forgot what the voices were, so I'm just completely redoing them, and they will be absolutely trash if you haven't seen this yet, so enjoy. Assuming, of course, we can avoid any run ins with the Grado soldiers. Princess Erica, may I leave to scout ahead? From the sky, I'll have a better chance of spotting any, by near tro any nearby troops. This is a lie. In the fog of war, thieves see better, not Pegasus Knights, which always confused me. I felt as if it should have been the other way around, but whatever. Well, yours to command your highness. Will you give your permission? Yes, of course. Keep an eye out for enemy bowmen, though, Vanessa. Yes, your highness, I shall. That's the game telling you that bows do a lot more damage to Pegasus Knights. I shall prove myself worthy of the honor of your trust. She seems very sincere. Sincere, yes, quite. I never understood that little interaction there. Hey boss, we found villagers right for the pity. One, two, three. Haha, ha. I love a good war. With all those soldiers preoccupied, we're free to pillage as we please. Right, Bone, you're in charge. Grab everything that's not nailed down and bring it to the hideout. I'm on it. Dad, band is approaching. Hmm. I'm getting you out of here, Ross. You stay close to me. I don't know what I'm what I'm doing. I start with that village there. Go to it boys, it's all yours. Cut down anyone anyone fool enough to get in our way. Don't know why I'm ch I don't know what I'm doing with these voices. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm heading west around the mountains to the other villages. Yeah, I'll just keep a sort of Irish accent for him. The village was destroyed and there's Ross and uh, his dad. I don't think his name has been put out yet. Mm. Ross, what is it? What's wrong? It's nothing. It's just a scratch. You're a warrior, Dad, and I'm your son. I won't be beaten so easily. 
Don't risk yourself so foolishly. We need to get you some help. Please, someone help my son. What convenient timing, might I say. <laughs> ah, this looks serious. I must report to Princess Erica at once. I have bad news. The village to the east is under attack by bandits. Bandits? We have arrived at our first dilemma. We must move quickly and attract as little attention as possible. But... But I cannot stand and watch innocents be harmed. Vanessa, how fair the villagers? I spotted one injured person. He appeared to be just a child. Ross isn't just a child. He's a grown-ass man and he don't need no woman. Father Mola, can your staff help him? Yeah, that's basically telling you that he's a healer. Yeah. Well, yes, I could heal injury with my staff, but I cannot do it from here. He's too far away. I must be near him. Game mechanics, sort of uh, explanation there, exposition. Princess, leave this to me. I shall bring the boy here. All right, Vanessa, it's up to you. Very well, I'm off. All right, so this setup is, once again, very simple. It's just the basic thing. I think uh, a couple spawn here at some point a bit further along. It's hard to get this village. I don't think I'll rush for it because I need Vanessa to save Ross. Uh, Garcia can survive an extra turn, but Ross needs to get the hell out of there and hard. Um, all right, let's start by doing the usual. Rescue Ross, this is what the game sort of wants you to do. You wait there. You go collect him with Mulder. You drop him, and next turn you can heal him. That's basically how it goes. Can you talk with him this turn? No, you can't. Right. Um, when you visit villagers, they give you items occasionally. And she's somebody you'll feature later on in the story, if I remember right. There's bandits too close. I can't find a way to protect the village ourselves. The village is doomed. Perhaps. People, listen to me. You guess you must close the village gates immediately. Hurry, before the bandits arrive. Who are you? You aren't from one of the neighboring towns, are you? And your weapons give you away. You're no peasant. I am, uh... My name is Arena. I'm a mercenary. Hey, nice and cover up. A mercenary named Arena, is it? There's more to you than that, I feel. But don't worry. It's none of my affair. I haven't told you who I am yet. Have I? I'm Selina, a general in Grado's army. Okay, <laughs> this is an awkward exchange. <laughs> ah, is something wrong? No, uh, nothing. It looks like these villagers have some bandit troubles. I would like to help, but I have orders. I'm to leave for the capital immediately. I cannot stay. You're armed, you, and you claim to be a mercenary. Will you help them? Um, is there a problem? <laughs> <laughs> I I. I forgot that this was sort of like a scripted exchange, like you're supposed to sort of visit it with Erica, which makes it a lot more interesting if, than if it was just a normal character. No, oh, of course I'll help them. It's just... You're one of Gladio's generals. Why? These aren't soldiers. They're people. Should they suffer because their leaders fight? She... You, you know, she knows. She knows what's up. She's a chill... She's a chill woman. I like her. I petition your aid. Take this as payment. Give me that red gem, boy. Uh, I can't. I don't remember how much you sell that for, but I think it's 5,000? 2,500. That's a, quite a bit of cash. I need to get an iron sword for Erica, so that's something that we'll do on the world map soon. Because. Oh, how do I. Yeah. There's an armory here. Now, in the other games you had to buy during the chapter, in this one you can buy on the world map by just going to a certain area. So we'll, we'll do that, and I'll show you how it works soon. In the meantime, let's just move up a bit. And uh, normally, if I remember right, yeah, Garcia will take this fine. Garcia's a badass. Will he get the two hit? Please miss. Oh no, he only goes for one, that's right. Oh, I didn't know he did that. I completely forgot. Oh, I remember that now. This was a weird exchange. I couldn't, couldn't remember it at all. It's been a while since I played this game, so it's nice to revisit it. Nope, I did not mean to do that. Can I not carry him with the... Uh, what's his name? And apparently not. I guess he's a big man. And if you look, they're green and they're sort of like classified as others. Uh, but they, you can recruit them easily just by doing this. 
Hey, listen, my village is being attacked by bandits. My name's Ross. Come on, you have to help me wipe those thugs out. Alright, just take a deep breath and calm down, Ross. Leave the villagers to us, we'll drive off the bandits. Seth, take the boy somewhere else. No, I'm going to fight too. But my father is out there all alone fighting those bandits. I've got to get him back as quickly as possible. And the son of the great Garcia, that's the name drop right there. <laughs> Don't know who Garcia is yet, but that, you know, he's just, you know. As long as I have my axe, no bandit will ever defeat me. That's not true, you will get completely shit on. <laughs> Alright, I can see that you're not going to be swayed. But you must promise to stay close with, to us. Right, Ross is different to the other characters. If you remember, um, people like Mulder, they're a priest. Uh, Pegasus Knights, Knights, and all that, and Cavaliers, they're all sort of tier one characters. They can be uh, evolved, in inverted commas, to an upper stage uh, when they reach level 10 or above, but preferably you wait until they're level 20, which is the cap, so they get as many growths as possible. Um, uh, for another example, is Seth is a tier two, he's like an already evolved, which is why his stats are that good. But his growths are pretty bad, and compared to somebody who is fully, you know, fully evolved through the normal way, he's not particularly strong. Um, Ross, on the other hand, is like a tier zero, I guess you could say. Um, he is a tier below a tier one. Once you reach level 10, he will automatically just go, Hey, I feel strong now, and you can change him into a pirate or a fighter. And he's pretty damn good, I'm not gonna lie, once you get him past this initial stage. So I'll do some grinding at some point when I get the Tower of Valny, or just by doing chapters normally, because his, his weapon, uh, his hatchet there, has got a 1 to 2 range, so you can sort of poke people down with it and get some decent XP. His XP gain is ridiculous, so. So you'll see. Hopefully, I don't lose him early, and if I do, I'll have to reset because I love this character. He's one of my favorite, not in terms of story, but in terms of just how strong he is. He's just so useful. And now we can recruit his dad. Dad? Ross, boy, what did I tell you? What are you doing here? Don't worry about me. Hurry up and get yourself to safety. <laughs> yeah, we brought you to safety too, man. Do you really think I can just run away while you fight, Dad? You told me that fighters fight for what's important to them. There's no way I'm leaving. I'm fighting just like you, Ross. Alright, listen to me. Put our way out of here together. So, now we've got Garcia. He is relatively strong for this early. If you look at Franz, who is another strong character, he reaches 7 strength, 7 speed. Garcia is hitting 8 and 7, which is very decent, and he's got a lot of HP too. Uh, the only downside is he doesn't have much skill, and his uh, defense and resistance aren't fantastic. I don't often use him, but I may do this, uh, this playthrough, we'll see. I forgot to turn off animations for healers. I'll do that uh, off screen. I'll send Garcia to. You. No, actually, no. Garcia is useful. I'll do it with. Uh... Who should I do it with? I'll do it with uh, this guy because this chapter's not made for him. And now we've got to start baiting them. So, can Franz sit there? Yes, he can. And now you'll see just how dangerous these guys are. They've got a lot of. They've got decent speed. They've got a lot of strength. And uh, they've got access, so they do quite a significant amount of damage, but we'll be fine, you'll see. Especially with the advantage on the weapon triangle. Do I do hit him? I don't think I do. With the fact that I've only got two more speed, yeah. Hopefully I get speed this level. If I get speed, I should be able to two hit him. <laughs> Normally I'd be annoyed at that growth, but if I can two hit him, that's, that's just perfect. That's all I need. Ah, that's right. I completely forgot those guys were there. That's where they come from. You can easily just send Erica down there to deal with them, they're not too much of a problem. No, I can't do it, and that was useless. Well done, Franz, you piece of shit. <laughs> this is, you'll see his XP growth if I hit. Oh, of course I don't. It's, it's only an 80%, I mean. <sighs> RNG hates me today on Pokemon, and it's hating me once again on this. Oh, damn it. Alright, I should be able to... And I hit the 62%, because that makes sense. Now, Franz, kill him. Thank you. If 
if I, I know it's impossible to miss it, but you can guarantee I would be able to do so with the luck that I've had. Get a Vulnerary, which is not particularly useful for there's three of them now. I'll have to put them in supplied so I'll take my items next next chapter or on the world map. Uh, do I want to push forward at all? He can't reach me. Could be interesting to put force him out. I need to visit this village yet. The most wonderful man rescued me. He was dressed like a mercenary but had the air of elegance of him. I think he features later on. I think I know who she's referring to. He gave me this elixir. I'm sure it will help you on the battlefield. I think she's referring to Innis, who we will meet later on in the playthrough, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I guess I can push forward a bit with Seth, just to have extra sort of support down there, and I'll move Vanessa a bit further down. I don't think anybody needs healing. Nope. Let's just end the turn there. God damn it, Erica can't move into the trees, that's an issue. I'm gonna have to block him off with Seth. Or just straight up kill him with Seth, I guess. Yeah. That's a pain. I don't like giving XP to Seth, but in this kind of situation, I kind of have to. Okay, he's no threat. Erica can deal with him. What weapon does he have? So he doesn't have a two distance weapon, which is useful. Can we hit? Yes. Thank you, Garcia. Garcia is pulling through right now. Right. This is a bit of a risk, but I should be fine. Yes. Nice one, friends. See. This is, this is all going so well. And Ross, hit your 83%. Yes. Watch his XP gain. I think he should get almost a full level from this. <laughs> his XP gain is ridiculous. Uh, I can't kill him. There's no point even trying. Bowmen are very dangerous to uh, Pegasus Knights, so I'm not going to bother. Push up a bit more. Oh, that's right, they go straight for that village, don't they? I forgot. Look at the damage Eric is putting out, this is ridiculous. Bowmen very early on do a lot of damage, but aren't very threatening, really. Um, can I bait him forward with Erica? Yes, I can. Erica is very good against the Erica is very good against these types of enemies because they don't um, uh, because they very they have a very low hit chance on her. So that's why I'm pushing forward with her. can give a kill to Vanessa as well, which is good. It's not necessarily easy to give XP to uh, Pegasus Knights, so... Now... Shall I risk it? Or shall I just uh, go kill this guy with her? Oh, that's risky too, Jesus. What a... Why are these... Why is my hit rate so low and why is his so high? I don't see why I shouldn't go for it. Yes! Good one, Vanessa. Thank goodness. Um, I guess I can leave Ross to deal with this guy. Right, can he reach there? Yes, I can. I'll have to move Garcia up to there. Wait. I played this very, very poorly. Uh, Right, we'll do this, move Garcia up, use him to bait instead. 
finish them off with Erica. Get a first level for Ross, which is very quick, as always. Speed is very good on him, and defense as well, wow. I would have preferred to have strength, but defense is never something you should you should uh, be, uh, be sad about. Uh, yeah, let's push forward a bit. We've, de we've dealt with everything we need to... Oh, does the boss come? Oh, he's attacking France, that's good. He hit him, that's not good. Don't you dare crit France. Alright, it's only a single hit, that's good. That's fine. Alright, we did pull the boss. Wait a minute, who are you? This guy outputs some serious damage, and I miss, of course. He has a chance to kill me, so I'm gonna have to heal Franz. I've kind of packed myself up a bit too much here, so I'm gonna retreat away with him. Move Erica in to attack the boss. Is that a good idea? Yeah, that's a good idea. Get a crit? No. <laughs> good, she dodged it. That's all I wanted to see. There we go. Good. Good play. I'm loving Erica this playthrough. She's putting in a lot of work. Russ is doing well too to say that this is only his first level. I don't I'm not it's not that I'm not a fan of the animation for the healers, it's the song menu that just really gets on my nerves. <laughs> Yeah, this chapter is coming to a close now. Franz gets another level, which is very, hopefully, very good. Skill, speed, and luck, I'll take it. I want you to get more strength, mate, but I'll take the speed. Speed is always a good thing. Oh, shit. Uh, I guess I can rescue him. Yeah, thank goodness. Yeah, I good thing I checked that before ending my turn, otherwise Ross probably would have died. Alright, he's attacking Erica, good. Erica putting in the work. <coughs> Blast! I'm getting another level. What level is she now? Five? Six? Five. Skill and speed, just standard Erica level. I want more HP though, get me more HP. You said my son, I owe you my thanks. It's not necessary. Hold on a moment. Aren't you the great Garcia? You fought for René, didn't you? Seth, do you know this man? He was a troop commander for René until about ten years ago. When I was a recruit, the soldiers used to tell so many tales about him. They called him a daring and fierce and fearless fighter for René. Master Garcia, you must know the peril our homeland faces right now. Can we oppose on you to lend your strength to René once again? I'm sorry, I'm retired now. I'm not a soldier anymore. It's a decision I made long ago. You can you can already tell where this is going, can't you? Master Garcia. When I was a soldier, I lived, I lived my life fighting for the country's honor. I left no time for my family. Spent my life fighting for the faceless and caring nobles. When my life, my when my wife fell ill and died, I met the child she had left behind. <sighs> Just like X Factor, relying on a sob story. At that moment, I finally realised what my duty had cost me. I stood at my wife's grave and promised to her I would be a father to her son. I'm done with armies, I'm done with fighting, except to protect my son. I've no regrets, I'm the boy's father. Dun -dun -dun -dun. You, you blasted fool! Father, what's all this nonsense I'm hearing? Ross? If you're not going, then I will. I'm a fighter. I know I can do this. Oh, it's nice and headstrong. Ross, what are you saying? I, Dad, please, listen to me. I respect you more than any other man in the world. I know you gave up being gave up being a soldier for me. I know that. But how can you throw away such a big part of yourself? You're a warrior at heart. You can't give that up and be happy. Look at me, Dad. Have you seen me fight? I'm not a child anymore. I'm a warrior, like you. In about eight more levels you can be. You're free to worry, but I can survive on my own. Ross. You want to challenge me, father? I'm a fighter. I'm the best in all the vine. Fight me, bro. 
I'm not going to lose to you. I'm not going to lose to anyone. Once again, that is very untrue if you play him dangerously. <laughs> You're right. You're a good soldier, Ross. So, Seth, if, those old, if these old bones of mine can still serve, I'd like to join you. He doesn't look that old. Look at the size of his neck. Jesus, I just noticed. <laughs> his neck is probably about as wide as, set, as uh, Erica's uh, shoulders. That's insane. <laughs> Dad. Looks like my boy grew up whilst I wasn't looking. He's tougher than I thought. He don't need my help. I've raised him best I could, but he's right. I've nothing to fear. I should fight. I will fight. Dad. Thank you so much for your help. Please stay at rest. We would if we could, but we have much to do and far to travel. Your safety is reward enough. Ah, uh, well. My, that is a splendid bracelet you're wearing. Thank you. My father gave this to me. It's a wonderful gift, but you should be careful wearing such a valuable item so openly. Hint, hint. Since Renee was invaded, things have become so dangerous around here. There are cold, hungry thieves and bandits everywhere. Spooky story man here. The most wicked are Baspus bandits. They are cruel beyond words. Hint, hint, once more. I've just noticed there's a whole lot of exposition in these early chapters if you read a lot into it. That's very interesting. If you have something they want, your life is worth less than nothing. Just the other day, the ordered some travellers and... Oh, it was awful. I... I can't believe such things. Oh, Renee is finished, mark my words. Great old empire stole in our future. Our only hope against them was Prince Ephraim. Was that Prince Ephraim would prevail, but rumor has it he's on the verge of being crushed by a very great old vast numbers. That's a good thing to say to some random person. These are dark days. Travel with care. Da, 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 da. Ephraim. Flashback time? Yeah, flashback time. Three years ago. It's time to start. You ready, Erica? Yes, Ephraim. Let's begin. Tell me, though, why do you want me to teach you to fight? I thought you didn't care for violence. I do not like uncivilized behavior. I think one can solve one's problems without fighting. And yet... And yet what? I've always relied on you to protect me, brother. I would rather not be such a burden to you in future. So, I thought I maybe I should learn to protect myself. I'm your brother. Brothers are supposed to protect their sisters. That's darn right. It's nothing for you to worry about. It's no cause for concern. Yes. Yes, but... I'm your sister. Sisters are supposed to worry about their brothers. God damn it. So I would like to learn something of swordplay, if only a little. And maybe someday I can protect you in your time of need. <clears throat> hint, hint. So please, Ephraim. Alright, alright. How could I say no? Honestly, once you get an idea into that head, into your head, that's it. I might as well give in. It's agreed. I'll teach you. But I won't hold back because you're my sister. And I want no complaining once we've started, Erica. Complain? Me? Never. I thought she was a sister. What? Isn't that all they do? <laughs> Sorry if my sister ends up watching this at some point. Oops. Beg your pardon, ma'am. Hey. Princess, are you alright? Uh, yes, yeah, someone bumped into me. That uh, is all. I was jarred. Hmm? Your Highness, where is your bracelet? My bracelet? It's gone. Exposition, a scary man, old man, was right. <laughs> where could it be? Did that man? I'll find him. Don't worry about it, Seth. That bracelet was a gift from my father, but Ephraim needs her help. I can't let sentimenta sentimentality get in the way of my duty. No, your highness. We must retrieve your bracelet regardless of the cost. You cannot lose it. Let's go. We must hurry. There's something more to that bracelet than Seth is willing to reveal at this point in time. Uh, that's the end of this episode. Uh, thank you all for watching. I will uh, probably upload uh, these uh, with a few days in between each. Because I'm going to bulk record these next uh, today, which is Wednesday, and this weekend as well. I'm going to get like two or three episodes done each day, depending on what I want to do. 
and depending on how long the chapters are uh, I'll probably separate long chapters into two episodes to avoid having uh, too long of a ep- uh, video. This is already 30 minutes long, which is pretty much the limit that I'll set. I'll, I can, you know, between 30 and 40 minutes, that is. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you stick around for the rest of this series. I, um, I hope my horrible voice acting didn't put you off. And uh, for those of you who aren't aware of what Fire Emblem is, this could be a decent introduction. This was my first Fire Emblem game to play, which I said in the first episode. And uh, yeah, it's it's something that I'm interested to share. On that note, thank you once again for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.